Um, still not exactly what we want. So now that we have all the, the main lights, uh, we can do, uh, we can just start uh, duplicating these. Again, keeping the targets at the same place, which is what we want. So what we're going to do is pick them, uh, duplicate them up above, and then scale them down so they start to form a round dome. So it's a duplicate up and then scale down. And we're going to do this twice. So we're going to pick them, duplicate, then scale. It looks like I, uh, we got one target that's stuck there, so what we're going to do is reverse, undo, make sure that um, looks like we still have a target picked here. Um, what I'm going to do is ungroup those again and make sure we're just picking uh, the main light. Group. Call it direct. Grouped. Boom. Again, go into the side view. We're going to duplicate, then scale. One more time. And you can see how this starts to form a dome around uh, the soccer ball. And if you look from all sides, you'll see the, the dome there. And then we bring up the perspective camera view here. Um, and we hit render. it forms a nice, soft, GI-looking, outdoor-looking solution, which is exactly what we want. Um, one thing we notice uh, is the, the shadow, although it's definitely sitting there and ball looks like it's sitting on that object, seems a little diffused. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to quickly back up and change the sample range on this um, just to give it a little bit harder shadow. So re reverse a little bit. Uh, reverse out the group so we get back to the single light um, here, which is exactly what we want. Ungroup it, pick the main light again, uh, and go down to the sample range. We'll crank that down to about, uh, we'll see what 10 gives us um, there. And we'll go through this process real quickly again. So uh, we'll pick the, the light and the target and group them. And we're going to create an array around. Oop. And we forgot to move the pivot. So we'll go back, affect the pivot, move it down to where the ball is. Array. Voila. Select all the lights. group and then just pick the main lights and group them and then copy and scale twice And then let's see what the results are here. And there we go. Shadow is definitely a little bit more present. Uh, the ball seems to be really sitting on the surface now. Um, and I think uh, what we've done is created a a really nice um, GI, fake GI solution um, that can easily be replicated uh, within your standard 3D tool set.